Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and this month we've been working with wedge rulers. They come in a variety of degrees, nine degree, 10 degree, and even other sizes. And one of our most popular projects in the store right now is the Spicy Spiral Table Runner. And all it takes is eight fat quarters and a nine degree wedge ruler. And I'm gonna show you how we actually do that. There are other projects though that we are in the middle of working with uh, from the new book by Cheryl Phillips, uh, Quilts Without Corners. This is what I've got done so far. Isn't that amazing? And we'll show that in a different video coming up. But right now I wanna show you how you go about getting this. It's a very easy project, so it's great even for beginners. Now for getting everything set up. From the eight fat quarters, you're gonna cut a variety of different strips from each color. Now you are gonna to wanna to number these. Do you see what I have here? Numbered pins. And those are now available at Heirloom Creations. One through 10 on this side, 11 through 20 on this side. Quick and easy, open them, and then you're not having to pin little pieces of paper to it. Also too, we've best pressed all these um, pieces of fabric before we cut them out, and we'll probably best press again once we actually get our strips sewed together. So after we have them numbered and we know in what order that you're gonna do, you're gonna make four different stratas as they're gonna be called, all in the same order from light to dark or however you have them set up. These are gonna be kind of a, a dark, light, dark. And we get, everyone is gonna have a different look all together. So we have four different ones here about ready to get cut, which I'm gonna show you. But prepping your ruler, the, the wedge rulers do not have any grippies on the back of these. And the true grips, uh, something new that we've had here, there's these little circles that you can put on the back. Be generous because once you start cutting, you sure don't need that to be slipping on the side. And now with a little pressure, that won't slip at all. All right, once you get everything cut, we'll show you how once you've layered it, everything will be layered in the order you sew because they're gonna be crisscrossed. When you cut them, they're exactly as you need. You're gonna end up pulling one from one side, one from the other, one, one, and they all go together perfectly. So that's where we're headed for. Once you get all your pieces sewn together after they've been cut with their wedges, the, the quilting can be super easy. Just stitch in the ditch. It really makes this look wonderful. And on the back, it's very simple. On this one, we stitched every other wedge. And then of course, you're gonna need to cut bias binding for getting around your curved edges. Use the angle finder tool that is one of our most popular rulers we sell on the website. Um, it is gonna make so these weird sharp corners do not have any extra bulk as you're trying to make your binding go around those. You're gonna have one on each end to finesse into position. So check out the angle finder. We have a video on how this works. You'll think it's absolutely awesome. All right, are you ready to see how we cut? Now we're ready to layer two of our stratas together. On this fabric, we have kind of circles on one end and leaves on the other. So that's how I'm kind of keeping track here. Both pieces are right side up and opposite. Uh, circles down below, leaves on this side. And these are all pressed. The seams are always pressed towards me. So you'll need to make sure you're pressing them the right way when you get started. I've also gave them an extra best press spray and it is pretty board stiff, which is great. So as those bias edges are cut and sewed, they're really gonna hold together. You need to make sure that your rotary cutter is sharp and on the newer side. So then every time you go around here, it's, it's an easy cut because you do have all the seams to go through. On the ruler, or I should say in your pattern, you're gonna have of what levels, what lines you're gonna follow, because every time we do this, we're gonna make a shorter and shorter cut. So I've got my pattern close by as I take a look at what I, where I need to be for my first cut. I'm gonna line this up along this bottom edge, and I also take a peek kind of up through the center ruler and just make sure that I'm semi-parallel to on these lines to the seams on my fabric. So once you start cutting, you really don't wanna stop. You also wanna clear your space. I've got this set up because once we do the wedges cut this way, we need to cut them from the other side. So I'm gonna actually turn the ruler when I'm all said and done. I've also positioned so I can walk, I can actually walk on this side of the cutting, um, cutting table so I have a good angle and I'm not trying to cut towards me here. So are we ready? All right, first cut, here we go. Kind of one of those uh, check, Check each time before you cut. So we're cutting all the way through. Come across the top part here. Okay, don't go too far because we are gonna need to get wedges off this end here. So now I can come on this side of my cutting area 
and cut back down towards the base. All right, this is how it should look as we want. Don't move your base fabric because we need to keep that intact for our other cuts. So that is our first wedge, right? And then we're going to continue. Line up your next one right along as close as you can to your first cut here. Check and make sure you're fairly perpendicular to all your seams. And each one we cut, we do a little bit shorter each time. Again, your pattern will have all the exact measurements all noted for you. All right, here we go. For the second strata, we do the exact same thing, just with following different numbers for continuing to cut. The same color is right, um, right side up here, layered with the other one uh, also right side up underneath. So we're just going to continue cutting the rest of the pieces, and then we'll layer them up, and then I'll show you how we get to go in for the sewing. Ready for the best part? This is how you're going to start sewing it together. Each time you pick up a wedge, it's got a partner. So each one is going to go to its previous piece. So I'm going to just lay out a few of these so you can kind of see how it's going to look once we get it stitched together. Now, being that I'm a garment sewer first and not a quilter, I'm always wanting to sew down towards the point. But because we are lining this edge up, that's our go-to line, it actually really didn't matter. I kind of went against the grain, as it's called, when I started to stitch these together. And it really was okay, because we are going to quilt it once it's all said and done. Can you see how this is coming out? That's going to just start curving together. So just keep doing, you're going to create each half. And once you have one half done, the other half done, then you just Put them together. Last seam is just uh, finishing the table runner all together. This project can be done probably within like three hours of the top and then the quilting to be added layer. So you just uh, keep going until you have all your strips sewn together. Enjoy this wonderful pattern. It is available on our website that you, we can ship it to you. And if you'd like eight fat quarters to go with it, just ask. It's a blast. Thanks for watching.